Hi folks, today we are going to see that how we can set up our you know bug bounty environment. Here is the best tool which is mostly popular and here today I am going to discuss about that which whose name is Recon FTW and I have also you know renewed my Kali Linux and I thought why not to make a video on it how to install you know Recon FTW, FTW and the usage of or the installation of this tool is really simple if you don't know about the Recon FTW this is the entire process of recon in sense which is totally automated you just you just have to give you a target.com domain and the subdomain enumeration the subdomain brute forcing and find ips for your uh, domain and do a lot of stuff whatever you want to do so this makes the process of reconnaissance really easy for you if you are a bug bounty hunter or a security penetration tester definitely check it out and here i am going to show you that how you can install this this is a straightforward process you just have to copy this command uh, you know the git clone inside it there i have already installed this by the way so i am not going to install but you just have to copy this and hit the uh, enter you will and this will going to be installed and here you can see that this is also saying that the recon ftw already exist so the, i am not going to install it again so what we can do that we can go inside the folder path after installation so here i am going to going inside the path and now we are in right there ls command and here i am going to clear this first and now type ls in order to show what it, uh, here you can see that the install.sh and recon ftw.sh so now I am going to move the install.sh. I haven't installed completely for you guys that so you can also uh, take the idea about how this tool works and what it is about. You know this is built by the six 2Ds which is a really awesome guy and these, uh, this guy have also good word lists. You can check it out at their uh, 6 to DZ and here it is saying that uh, choose, an, choose one of the following options install update recon ftw install update plus web interface user interaction needed and here I am going to type 2 because this will become really easy and if you install you know this with the web interface you can also take the here it is saying that type the password I have typed my password and this web interface is also awesome there you can see in the graphs and many other data this is an awesome tool you just have to give it a try and you will be amazed that how it is performing the reconnaissance for you the main opportunity for this i think is that you just don't have to install all of the to all of these uh, you know subdomain enumeration and subdomain brute forcing directory fuzzing tools one by one so you just have to install this and you are free what you can want to do so here you can see that it has installed many tools which is in scope installed hacky p2 host and pure dns inter uh, interact sh client nuclei installed bunch of other tools so in this way you can create your test environment bed and test it via recon ftw this is an awesome tool and still it is going i will wait for this so now we are going to use this in order to in order to get the actual flavor of the recon ftw so here i am going to going at the terminal and clear this and here i am going to paste it there and after that here i will give my target as facebook.com now here you can see that this is going to scan all of these and uh, this scanning can also be take some time but we will i am going to show some type of scanning this is doing which is really awesome and these uh, this one tool you know is a kit of the recon and this will utilize all of these tools which have been installed by the that kit and use them one by one and show you the results that which tool has successfully run or which isn't run at that moment you can see that the rip engine and truffle hog wasn't uh, run at that time due to uh, due to some error or something like that but the target is facebook.com it is scanning and this will take some time this is doing scanning now we are going to see that how we can configure the burp suite in order to you know ready our lab at there so that our environment will be completely finished so here i am going to open this burp and 
burp is already installed in this you know the community version of the burp is already installed in the uh, kernel linux so you just have to type burp suite and hit ok and this will uh, pops up in the burp suite for you and maybe there was some error or issue that's why it is not bringing this and here you can see that i am again trying to open this yeah this has been opened and i have changed the interface of this and if you don't know about how to change the interface of the burp switch i will i will show you that how you can change the interface of the burp switch plus the font you can make the larger font of the burp switch and also i will configure this with my mozilla firefox so that you, you guys can see that uh, you guys can see how i am able to configure this so basically you just have to move that the proxy tab here and after that the proxy settings so here comes the list of you know options bunch of options you just have to explore all of these but now i'm going to move the user interface and the display so here you can see that is the font size i have selected 18 font size because this is a fit for me and you can select light or dark as well if you select light and this will become the light but if you select on the dark this will become the dark surface of the burp suite so this was the actual uh, basics i'm going to again generate this in order to yeah regenerate this and export as a dir file select the desktop and bur dot der and save it at there and you can see that burp dot der is getting saved in the desktop next close and now i'm going to see that this yes here it comes this is our burp certificate we have successfully generated this after that you just have to move the uh, move your browser which should be uh, this browser it should be the you know firefox which is better and here i am going to install a little extension which is an awesome extension which is a foxy proxy foxy proxy add-on add on firefox yeah this will you should to add this as well in order to work with the burp so this become this makes the process really uh, really you know easy for you you just have to add this and click on ok and this is a little description of it back it from there and here you can add your settings i am setting this into burp and here i am going to use the http and the ip address or dns would be 127.0 yep 127.0.0.1 and port should be 8080 i think so yeah we are going to see it there what is the port actual 8080 so this port and this uh, you know ip address you are going to give it there yes 80 80 and we are going to save this and there we go we have successfully uh, set it there yes. and then you can just navigate we have just installed the foxy proxy but we did not um, set the or installed or configured our web certificate in the browser so in order to do that what we are going to do we just have to move uh, at the setting tab and after that here you can type the network and network settings here you can see that we are going to uh, hit the manual proxy and the proxy will be our uh, 127.0.0.1 and after that this will be 8080 burp is burp is on in here now i'm going to reload this and click on advanced button go back click it there or reload this But this is still okay okay still we are uh, missed something we have set it the proxy but we did not you know import our yeah we didn't import our certificate so in order to bring the certificate at there what we are going to do we just have to type c e r t certificate yes 
here you can see that the view certificate and import button now we are going to select the desktop and inside desktop you can see that this is there is our uh, there is our certificate and we have selected this and hit ok and ok button and now we are good to go i think so this will not make me fail at this time now i'm going to intercept the request and reload this as well yeah there we go you can see that you can see that this is from the id you know the youtubes and if you go at the target or proxy or history and you can see you can see it there there is the google.com which is web vendors and you can send it to the repeater but here is the problem no, we will fix it this these you know these icons are very uh, you know small so what we are going to do we will fix this on the proxy and the settings tab and now we are going to user interface and display and after that what we are going to do scale factors now we are going to see that where we should make it more larger in order to yeah there is an option yeah change font sorry change font and uh, there will be the size of the font and you can make it this and now you are good to go you can see that the request response size is very much bigger at there so you just have to send it to the repeater and send it to the now you can test it whatever you want to test to your target i have made on the burp ready for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this and here i have already made the recon ftw you can see that it is bringing some results new subs passive which is you know a huge number of subs uh, you know you know what the facebook is actually really big and that's why it is uh, using multiple metadata or many other tools like five icon ip lookup and many more enumerations of subdomains passive subdomain enumerations it has collected 12864 subdomains and and these are all are being saved uh, at the output file we can go and see it all of these are there so i hope i hope i hope that this video helps for you guys that how you can set up your automation and your manual test environment or test bedroom so i hope this makes clear to you guys if you have any question or if you have any queries related this video you just have to post uh, in the comment section make sure to subscribe my youtube channel i already pushed many videos of uh, you know debug the bugs report explained and the srf and here you can access